Hi everyone, Antoinette here and welcome to Anne's Place. Today I'm in my dining room. I am going to decorate this table in a bee theme. I have been loving the bee theme decor for a very long time now. I've never collected it or bought anything because I'm the type of person that once I start collecting, I don't stop and it gets a little out of control, so I never did it. But I'm jumping on the bandwagon today. I'm seeing some videos on YouTube that are bee themed and it just gets me so excited. So I decided to go ahead and do the same thing. The problem is that COVID-19 is still going on in our world. I do not have a lot of stores in my neighborhood that are open. And so I've had to be very uh, resourceful and creative as to how I'm going to decorate for this theme. So I had a few little things. I did go out to my local dollar store. I bought a couple of things that are in keeping with the theme and I think it's going to work. I have a picture in my head and I think it's going to look nice. I hope so. It's going to be black and yellow mostly with some white and I think it's going to look summery because of the yellow. I'm going to start with the base of a black tablecloth. Now black doesn't sound very summery, but I think with the pops of yellow and the bit of white, I think it's going to work. So let's find out. Alrighty. So I've now put the black tablecloth on my table. You may notice that there is something white on it. When I saw the black tablecloth, it looked a bit Halloween to me and I thought this will never work looking as it does. So a little trick of mine is that I lighten things up that are too dark with my white scarf and it's very airy and it's sort of see-through and I use it when I do feel that something is just a little too dark and I find it works quite well. So I, I use it often for my decorating. So we're gonna start with our candle holder. This is another item you probably would have seen in some of my other videos. I have decorated a lot with yellow. I love yellow. And so I'm going to use this for my look. My flower, I tested it and would not stay by itself. So I had to put it on a little toothpick and I've had to tape it down. So my little trick there. So I'm just going to put that down. And then at the dollar store, I did find this yellow candle and it came wrapped in a black paper, which is perfect for our look um, because Black and yellow is the color of bumblebees, and so I thought that worked perfectly, and so I'm leaving that as is, and I'm just going to place that on top there. So the next item to go on our table will be our little plate holder. And so I said I had to be creative. So what I did was I printed off of the computer a really nice bee picture that I found. Um, it was exactly what I was hoping to find. So I printed that off, it came off quite nicely. I found at the dollar store a black frame with a white a sort of trim around it. And then what I did was I added an extra bit of yellow around that. And so I'll show that to you. And I think it works quite well with the look I'm trying to achieve here. Now our, can our flower doesn't show very well, so maybe what I'll do is this, and maybe that looks a bit better. And then another item that I found at the dollar store was this. This is an outdoor candle with a crown on it. And I love queen bees, I love the look of crowns, and I thought that was really cute and in keeping with the theme as well. So I'm gonna put that over here. And since I can't see what it looks like, I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to take a peek, maybe tweak it just a bit, and then we'll move over to the other side and I'll show you what I do over there. So you can see here that I did end up moving the candle holder over to the other side. I thought it just looked a little nicer. So that's our look on this side and Ironically, our candle inside that candle holder is yellow, so we're really keeping with the theme here. Alrighty, so 
So we're on the other side of the dining room to decorate the other side of the table. So little story about the next item I'm going to put on the table. When I went to Dollarama last weekend to try to find some bee themed items, one of the items I was really hoping to find but didn't think I would because I've never seen it at Dollarama before was a round yellow placemat. Well, they had one yellow round placemat. So I really lucked out. I felt like this was so meant to be. And I thought, oh my gosh, I was very excited. So we're gonna place this down here. And this is going to be underneath our tiered tray. So with my tiered tray, what I did was I went ahead and just tied a little naively tied yellow and black ribbon bow. Um, I'm not the best bow maker. I'm not a good bow maker by any stretch of the imagination. So I did do this ahead of time. I didn't want to fiddle around tying it um, on camera. So that's already done. To that, I'm going to add my Ray Dunn, a little bee skep here with a little bee on top. And we're gonna put that here. And then to that, I'm going to add this. So I told you I had to be creative, I had to be resourceful. When I go shopping at Sephora, I save their bags. I love their bags. They're black and white striped. They're very in now. If we get a bit of a close up here, we can see that yes, it's a Sephora bag. And then I have this black and white striped tissue that's in keeping with the look. And what I did was I simply printed off a queen bee print off of the computer. I put that on some yellow paper and I put some edging around it from my scrapbooking materials. So this is just gonna go over here and hopefully that looks good. Um, I'll just put that there and that's sort of to give it a bit of height and to give it a bit of volume as well. On the second tray here, I'm going to put my little yellow and white pot. I'm not gonna put anything in it because I really don't have a lot of space between the, the trays here. So I have to sort of keep my items low. So I'm just gonna add this and put that over there. To that, I'm going to add this little yellow flower that I have. I've also used this in other videos for decorating. And I'm just going to put that right here. Hopefully that looks good. We'll, we'll take a look after. And that's that there. And then on the bottom, I'm going to add this little yellow Sort of vase that I have here. I have a bigger one as well, but I really like the, the little one for this look. And I'm going to put that here. And this past Easter, I was looking high and low for this little thing. This little flower here with a little yellow center. It's just something that I got that was on a gift and I saved it because I think it's so pretty. I finally found it. I was cleaning up my living room and it was inside a little box that I had on my coffee table. So, so happy I found it. And we're just gonna place it right here because it's yellow as well. And then to just fill up the other side here, just a little garden ball that I found. I think I'm gonna have to really squish this in there to get in there and I'm not sure how that looks so I'll take a peek after and then I think to finish off the look I'm just going to grab these these were also from Dollarama just some black and white striped straws that I thought were really cute with the look put them in a little glass and then I'll just place them there and voila this is our bee themed table I will give you a view of the whole table and how it looks in the room in just a moment.
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was my bee themed table decorating video. I hope it wasn't too long. I'd like to say, please excuse the gray hairs. I have not been able to get to a hairdresser like most of you because of COVID-19. So you probably will have seen that in the video, but I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you give me a thumbs up and your comments just to let me know what you think. And if you have not subscribed already, I would love if you did. I hope you all have a great day. I thank you for joining me and be wonderful. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Postscript, I decided to move the straws over here because I felt that it was too heavy looking over here. And so now this is what it looks like. I think that's better. This is me. This is what I do. I keep changing and tweaking. But thank you again for joining me, everyone. Take care.